Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone My name is Givi Alfandi Diva I'm from Universitas Melawarman In this video I want to share about Coronavirus in Indonesia So The world is now in serious trouble It has been a few months Since the world was hit by a pandemic For more than half a year The pandemic is the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 is a disease that originates from the coronavirus. The beginning of the spread of the disease in the world came from Wuhan, China. Many countries are thinking about solving this problem. There have been many ways that have been done so that the community can avoid the coronavirus, especially In Indonesia itself, this outbreak is a very serious problem. The government continues to think about how its people can avoid this disease outbreak. Much has been done by the government so that people can carry out activities, especially learning and working activities as usual. However, the government still has difficulties in dealing with it. The impact of the coronavirus has resulted in the government being able to regulate the, it, its citizens to always remain vigilant. Apart from that, Indonesia is also expressing, experiencing a downturn in various fields, especially in the economic sector. However, the most worrying thing is in the Indonesian education sector because education in Indonesia itself is very important. Many students are studying studying with great difficulty because of the coronavirus outbreak that has hit this. There have been many attempts by the government to regulate education or learning during during an outbreak like this. One of them is learning with the online method. The reason is that learning must exist in spite of the very serious, serious problems that are currently being faced. By still paying attention to existing health protocols, that way students can take part in learning safely and smoothly. However, all of this does not have to go, to, to go smoothly. There are so many problems faced by students. I survey several students who are now implementing online learning. They say that this learning is ineffective. The reason is because the field that online learning is very difficult to understand, especially subjects that concern number they argue that it will be easier easier if tough directly second the problem that hit them is a network problem not all of the networks they use can support learning in remote area it is very difficult to receive good tissue Not only that, some of them also sometimes find it difficult to buy internet quota due to family financial problems that are not always enough. The above are problem experienced by high school children and above. Not to mention for elementary and junior high school student, students, students under high school are still young and too fast to use cell phones. Moreover, elementary students I have asked and look it directly at the children who are still in elementary school most of them cannot use cell phones children their age should not be allowed to play cell phone because cell phone can make them addicted better if they are addicted to learning on every they are addicted to playing game on their cell phone It is a serious problem and must be dealt with especially for the parents. 
Another problem that commonly occurs is the limitation of parents in buying or owning a sophisticated cell phone. On average, they do not have sophisticated cell phones because the reason that the cell phone use are sufficient to reply to messages and only call without other advanced, advanced features. Not to mention the internet quota that must be broadcast constantly as a result of using future or application to learn online. From the problem experienced by elementary, junior high, high school, and university, uh, university student, students, there are also opinion from them about the good impact of this online learning. The first is that they say that online learning is simple and not complicated. They don't need to shower, have breakfast, change uniforms, wear shoes, and other things because they just they just not need to wear a net top and just turn on the camera on the learning application both the Zoom and Google Meet application. The second advantage, advantage they say they can stu study study while lying down. Although not all teachers and lectures allow it. The third advantage is that they can rest freely at home when they are entering re research hours. They also don't need to go back and forth to school because they just stay at home. Those are the kinds of impacts that are felt directly by students. The impact also varies from bad to good effects. The conclusion is that we are currently being hit by an outbreak of a dangerous disease, namely the COVID-19 disease which originates from the coronavirus. The learning had to be carried out at home and using an online system, even though there are various impacts. We must carry out all of them in a relaxed and calm manner so that later the lesson we get are not in vain. In addition, we must also implement existing health protocols so that later we can resolve the out outbreak of these diseases and not worsen the situation. This is all done so that we can go to school or gain knowledge as usual again. Okay, thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.